Right. Uh, thank you very much. I'm trying to read the room. Uh, do you guys like the world? <laughs> yeah. Because I'm coming to you with the news of the world. The world has a new king. At least 15 Commonwealth realms. Right. Well, I, I understand some of you care more than the others. So I'd say congratulations to all of you Americans. <laughs> you know what they say. The US and UK are two nations united by the infatuation for the same useless royal family. <laughs> It's true, but the coronation was great. It had pomp, ceremony, everything, and history was made uh, thanks to Meghan Markle's absence. Uh, <laughs> an all-white family featured on British TV for a long time. <laughs> but that was a first in a long time, right? Yeah, but there was a spooky moment at the beginning when guests uh, witnessed an apparition of Queen Elizabeth in Westminster Abbey, but soon it turned out to be Emmanuel Macron's wife. Uh, uh, of course, the coronation uh, was an opportunity for the royal family to renew their pledge to serve the nation by taking credit for everything that works and distancing themselves from everything that doesn't. Uh, Charles was sworn by uh, the Archbishop of uh, Canterbury and he pledged solemnly uh, that he will not allow Christianity to stop him from serving the Church of England. <laughs> Church of England, the second funniest British invention in history. <laughs> what was that all about? Uh, but of course, the funniest ever British invention is called the state of Pakistan. <laughs> I have a lot of fans in India. <laughs> this is for you. We are filming. Um, but you know, the British monarch as the head of uh, the Church of England bears the title of defender of the faith. Uh, and Charles and his late mother have been defending the Christian way, uh, faith uh, pretty much in the same manner that Harry Maguire has been defending Manchester United's <laughs> goal line. If you're watching this in America, um, Charles and his late mother have been defending Christian faith pretty much in the same manner that Kamala Harris has been defending your southern borders. <laughs> Thank you. Um, during Her Majesty's reign, uh, churches in England became so empty that in Rochester, in Norwich, they had to install crazy golf <laughs> and helter-skelter slides inside the cathedral's nave to attract the faithfuls. I mean, churches in England are so empty that unlike other European countries like in France, Islamic terrorists even don't bother attacking them in this country. <laughs> it's not worth the effort. The, 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 the cost-effect analysis just doesn't add up. For the first time in history, less than 50% of Britons identify as Christians. In fact, experts believe that at this point, there's only one solution to revive Christianity in Britain. A land border with Mexico. <laughs> You know, Asia Bibi was a Christian Pakistani woman sentenced to death for blasphemy towards Islam, and she couldn't secure an asylum from Her Majesty's government. Do you know who took her in? Justin Trudeau. I mean, when you lose defense of Christianity to Justin Trudeau, <laughs> it's like losing uh, the race of uh, Native American heritage to Elizabeth Warren. That's another American reference. Uh, uh, YouTube analytics says 80% of my fans are from America. <laughs> so, so that's right. Um, but Prince Harry also participated, but he did not talk to his brother, Prince William. Inside sources say their relationship might have been 
damaged beyond repair. So let this be a word of warning to all of you. If you ever decide to crap all over your brother on America's most popular talk show, <laughs> and then again in a book, and then again in a Netflix series, and then <laughs> in the sequel, and in interviews on UK national TV, and in podcasts, this might damage your relationship <laughs> beyond repair. The American Journal of Behavior Sciences has described Prince William's reaction as um, normal. <laughs> now, there have been political scandals in the UK as well. Uh, BBC chairman uh, Richard Sharp had to resign after it emerged that he had secured an 800,000 pound loan for former Prime Minister Boris Johnson just before being appointed to the BBC Post by former Prime Minister <laughs> Boris Johnson. For the British public, a shocking revelation. <laughs> top politicians give top jobs to their friends. <laughs> um, also, uh, Nadim Zahawi lost his job as the Tory party chief after it turned out that he had failed to disclose uh, his tax affairs being under investigation. Mr. Zahawi, of course, uh, was also the former vaccines minister. He vaccinated the nation uh, with the complicity of uh, mass media, using manipulation, intimidation, virtue signaling, emotional blackmail, mass psychosis, and threats of taking away Christmas. <laughs> and he did this at the behest of Big Pharma, injecting tens of millions uh, with a vaccine that turned out uh, it was insufficiently tested, at best useless, at worst fatal. <laughs> and British public were disappointed to find out that this individual was not entirely honest about his taxes. <laughs> uh, has the world gone mad? Is there no integrity left in the Tory party? <laughs> now, international news, uh, round the clock emergency operations, special operations carried out by uh, Royal Air Force and Royal Marines commandos, uh, evacuating British nationals from Sudan. Hundreds were airlifted uh, to the British base of Akrotiri in Cyprus as the Sudanese capital Khartoum descended further into sectarian violence, uh, street fighting, and looting. Meanwhile, British citizens in Leicester have been continuing to live with sectarian violence, street fighting, and looting. Who's taking them to Cyprus? <laughs> Diplomatic drama, uh, Brazilian Consulate General in London was furious when they realized that the company had obtained a permit to open a strip club with full nudity on the ground floor of the same building which hosts the Brazilian Consulate in Soho. <laughs> it's not the funny part, but, but th <laughs> thank you. Uh, it is kind of funny. In a statement, uh, Brazil's Consul General said, this is a contravention of the Vienna Convention. We provide consular services constantly to the Brazilian community, many of whom children and elderly. Also reacting to the news, the Association of Brazilian Elderly in London, in a statement they said, uh, somebody please tell the Brazilian Consul General to shut the F up. <laughs> Barbie manufacturer Mattel have released their latest inclusive Barbie, a Barbie with Down syndrome. Previously, they had released Barbie with hearing aid and Ken with a skin disease. It's all, that's not the funny part, but. <laughs> Come on, I need to get this YouTube video monetized. The vaccine part is already a big no-no, but. It's all part of an effort to make Barbie dolls more relatable to a bigger number of girls. Their next release, Barbie the White English Girl from Underprivileged Background, 
abused by Pakistani gangs. And Ken, the cowardly English policeman who did nothing about it. For fear of being called a racist. Uh, I might lose uh, my day job because of it. Oh, hang on, I've already lost it. So, so we are in the clear. Right. Um, Time for sports. <laughs> Benjamin Mendy, Manchester City defender, has been cleared of all counts of rape except one for which a retrial has been rescheduled. Mr. Ma Ma Mr. Mendy and his friend uh, Joshua Maturi have been accused or had been accused of 13 counts of rape between them. In one instance, they were cleared of rape when the jury got into possession of a video in which the complainant was having, quote, enthusiastic sex with one of the defendants. Reacting to the story, the International Association of Feminists said in a statement, no means no, even when she says yes. <laughs> or in this case, yes, 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 please don't stop, oh God, yes. That's enthusiastic sex, where I come from. <laughs> and finally, Joasia Zakrzewski, an ultramarathon runner, had to apologize after it turned out that this year in the Manchester to Liverpool race in which she came third, she had been driven in a car for two and a half miles out of the 50 miles of the race. The organizers promptly disqualified her, saying that she had gained, quote, an unsporting competitive edge over the other women. Meanwhile, in martial arts, transgenders will continue to beat the living crap out of normal women. <laughs> I'll be trying to use this to hopefully get invited to GB News uh, headliner show. <laughs> Okay, you've been a great crowd. I wish all of you a night of enthusiastic sex. But after the show, thank you very much. <laughs>